All right, guys, welcome back to Fruit Facial Fridays at Cosmetics by Courtney. Uh, today's Fruit Facial is going to be uh, one for brightening your skin a little bit, give you a little more youth, and just kind of all around perk your skin up a little bit. We're going to start with half a, um, about half a kiwi, and you're going to peel it. And over here, this is my mango. I'm going to need to peel that before I put it in my blender. But um, before then, you want to make sure you get about, eh, about a quarter cup. That's about how much I have here if you guys need to measure. And like I said, be sure to peel it before you put it in your blending cup. Uh, the last two ingredients you're going to need are going to be one egg and uh, about a teaspoon of honey. I used a little over a teaspoon. Um, we're going to mix all of these together in our blender. We're going to blend for, it doesn't really take very long with these ingredients. I mean, maybe a minute, if that, depending on what kind of blender you have. I have a like a bullet blender, so it usually takes like a minute, minute and a half. This is a pretty simple one. Uh, so let's go ahead and blend these together and apply them. Hey guys, so my lighting in here is a little bit crazy, but this is the best I could do right now because my tripod's kind of acting up. So I'm going to apply my fruit facial right now with you guys and show you guys just how to do it really quickly. And then we'll see how I like it. Okay, let's start. So again, I just use my hands because, I don't know, I haven't invested in any kind of a brush yet to apply this, which I don't necessarily recommend that either because you're supposed to, most of these you do like small circles like I'm doing, and it gives your face kind of a nice little massage, and it's supposed to be a facial, so if you apply these with a brush, I feel like that kind of defeats the purpose, but again, that's all personal preference to what you guys want to do. But this kiwi is going to work awesome on our skin, mixed with the other ingredients, and um, the last couple of facials that I did we're like a little bit chunkier, but this particular one is kind of a smoother, a nice smooth one. And this is perfect also for oily skin types. We're not adding any oils to it or anything that should cause you to have any problems with oily skin. This is good for pretty much all skin types. So you guys can see I'm just massaging just kind of lightly on there, not too tough on my skin. Just paying attention to areas that I really want to brighten and just perk up a little bit. I even put a little just like underneath my eyes, kind of. Don't get them in your eye, though. Be really careful not to do that. And I'm going to leave this one on for approximately 10 minutes. We're going to rinse off and see what I think. Okay, guys, so I rinsed my face off in lukewarm water, and I'm so happy with these results. I like this even better than my last one, actually. My skin is really soft, and this one didn't tangle me quite as much as, as the last one. That sounded kind of bad. It didn't. It wasn't as tingly on my skin as the last one was. I hope you guys can kind of see, like I said, my, my lighting's kind of trippy right here, but um, I really like it. I definitely notice um, brighter skin, fresher, and healthier. If you guys try this, please let me know what you guys think. Comment below, and if you guys want links, my website and my Facebook are down there too. I'm just saying.